In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make a graph without a table. So we're going to start with a rule, and our first rule that we're going to start with is y equals 2x plus 5. And our goal is to make a graph directly without making a table. So here's what we need to remember. First of all, the 2, the 2x, two, 2 describes the growth rate. This would describe how quickly the tile pattern is growing if we were to draw a picture of the tiles every time we'd add two tiles. The second thing we need to remember is that 5 is figure 0. So 5 is where figure 0 would be. If I were to draw figure 0, it would have 5 tiles, and figure 1 would grow 2 tiles, and figure 2 would grow another 2 tiles. So those are the two important points that we need to remember about our rule. Now, how do we start the graph? First, we're going to find figure 0. We always start with the starting point. So we're going to go up to 5 at figure 0 because that's where figure 0 would be graphed. The next thing we're going to use is the growth rate. So now we're going to go over to figure 1 and up 2 tiles because every figure adds 2 tiles. So over to figure 1, up to 2 tiles. And we're going to repeat this again and again until we get a nice straight line. That is how you graph without a table. Let's look at another example. Example number two, y equals x plus three. In this example, we also want to find the growth rate, and the growth in this case is one. And that's because there's one x in my rule. The second thing remember we need to find is figure zero. We need to remember that three is the number of tiles in figure zero. Now we're gonna start the graph. So the graph starts with three tiles in figure zero. So we go up three tiles for figure zero. Next, we're going to use the growth. So we're going to grow one tile for every figure. So we go over to figure one, up one tile. And we're going to repeat this again and again until we get a nice straight line. Finally, connecting our line to finish our graph. So here's how you graph a rule without a table. Number one things to remember are find the growth rate and find figure zero. Now it's your turn to try this on your worksheet. Remember to submit your answers on the Google form so your teacher can get some feedback about how you're doing in class.